chief of the day. Come back here, little salmon fishy. Hey, come back here. Come back, little paper fishy. Stop swimming. No. Ah, gotcha. I hope our special guest likes origami paper animals. Our special guest is the chief of the Choctaw Nation. Your dad and I have been friends with him for years. And since he's in town for a tribal conference, we thought we'd serve him dinner under the stars. And by the way, he loves origami animals. If you ask me, he deserves a special dinner. As the chief, he's in charge of taking care of his tribal nation. He's a true hero. I've never met a real chief before. Well, that's because not all tribes use the word chief. The leaders of the Cowlitz and Shumash are called chairpersons. What do you think a chief would prefer? Shumash acorn mush or chia seed pudding? Pudding! Chia pudding! Very well. Acorn mush it is. No! Too mushy. We want pudding. We want okay, pudding. Okay, okay. That'll go nice with my Cowlitz inspired baked salmon. Salmon casserole, salmon stew, and lovely salmon vegetable medley with a dip made of... Oh no! My salmon recipes! The Junior Rangers are on the job. We'll make sure nothing blows away. Thanks, Rangers. Dad and I better go inside and get the food ready. I can't wait to meet a real-life chief. I've seen lots of chiefs in books. I bet he wears a big headdress with lots of feathers. Yeah, and Dad says he's a hero, so I bet he's tall with big muscles. He'll probably have a voice as loud as a bear. I'll bet you're right. Then he'd be like a super chief. Do you think he'll have laser eyes? Pew, pew. That'd be so cool. Oh, no. Turtles are meant to fly. This speedy turtle must belong to you. Thank you. Me and turtles do go together pretty well. I saw these rocks as I was walking. With all this wind, they might help hold your tablecloth down. Thanks, mister. That's a really smart idea. You're quite welcome. Now maybe you can help me. I'm looking for the visitor center. Yako Key, children. Don't let the wind blow your socks off. If this wind keeps going, it'll ruin our dinner with a talk to cheese. Maybe we can find a way to stop the wind if we had the spear part. <laughs> Those dust devils are making a mess of the park! <laughs> oh no! Put me down! This is no fun! No, no, fun. Fun. Uh, no, no fun. fun! No fun! Those dust devils are doing some great pranks. I am way jealous. We've got to help, but who should we help first? Oh no! Oh, oh no! Save us! I say we save them first. Uh, uh. Sure. Oh! Oh! No! Oh, thank you, Summer. So much thanks. That sure was dandy of you. I'm Blade, the dandelion spirit. And let You're me just so say, cute. those dusty dust doubles are blowing our seeds all around and up and down. Yeah, I noticed. Make a wish. Those dusty doubles started a few hours ago, and they are getting stronger. If we don't do something, Spirit Park might get blown away. Which would be totally cool. And by totally cool, I mean um really, really bad. <clears throat> I just want to say that first, we need to figure out what's causing the dusty dust doubles so we know how to stop them. No time for that, Blade. I gotta go get the spirits out of the trees. It's too bad the Choctaw Chief isn't here. He'd know just what to do. He could use his laser eyes. Pew, 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 pew. I am sure the Chief is a wise leader. And so, if they were here, they'd probably say the first thing we should do is find out what is causing the Dusty Dust Devils. Oh, no. Not again. Achoo! Thank you, Cody. I don't know why I always find myself up in treetops. Since the Chief isn't here, let's ask Kamash to help. Achoo! Can't stop sneezing. 
Kamash, maybe you can wash the dust devils away with a blast of water. Oh, good. Kamash wants so much to get rid of these mean dust devils. <laughs> Now I've got rainy day sneezes. Achoo! Rain is almost as bad as a bath! Coyote! Kamash is sorry. Very sorry I am. I think it's time to fight wind with wind. I'm just gonna say once again and again that we still don't know what's causing the dusty dust devils. planned. Oh, sweet scales. We're trapped forever. I'm gonna miss my lug. I'm gonna miss my bug's eye, yeah. And I'm even gonna miss you, Miss Coyote. It's okay, Lizard. We just have to stop these dust devils. I keep on saying that we can't stop anything until we figure out what's causing the dusty devils. Watch out! Poor Sunny has been sneezing ever since the dusty devils started. I remember because my fellow dandelion spirits and also myself were happily releasing our seeds all over when Mr. Sunny started up with all that sneezy sneezy. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey, maybe that's it. <laughs> I think the dandelion seeds are making Sunny sneeze. Achoo! And I think his son's sneezes are causing the dust devils. Good job, Eddie. You are right. Now that we know what's causing the dust devils, we can make ourselves a planny plan to stop them from dusty deviling. No, you were right, Blade. We should have listened to you all along. Well, you can listen to me now, because I got a plan. When I say bubbly bubble time, I want you to blow a bubble around us. You got it, Blade. Oh no, I feel a huge sneeze coming on. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Ah! Bubbly bubble time, Eddie! Bubbly bubble time! Bubbly bubbles! <gasps> Achoo! Bubble power! power. Oh. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Eddie, are you all okay? Yes, because Blade figured out that Sunny sneezes are causing the dust devils. And now we have to get all our seeds out of the air so he'll stop sneezing. Let's go, Spirit Rangers! Rangers! Achoo! Incoming Honey Hawk! <laughs> Who how? What? I thought you were a seed. <laughs> uh, uh. Super Sonic Bear! Oh, that feels much better. Look, now that Sunny stopped sneezing, the dust devils are fizzling out. <gasps> My hero, thank, thank you. Oh, there's no need to thank us. Way to go, Chief. You're a chief? Yep, the chief of the dandelions. We thought a chief would be big with muscles and a big roar. And maybe laser eyes. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> nope, no. A chief can come in any shape or size, as long as they're a good leader. A chief doesn't need a mighty roar. She doesn't need laser eyes. A leader is made up of something more. It's not about shape or size All that matters is in your heart Are you passionate, kind, and smart? Inner strength is the only strength that you need That's what it takes to lead Real leaders don't come 
come from a comic book All muscle bound, proud and tall You can't pick your leaders by how they look That isn't what counts at all I'm sorry to interrupt your song. If you keep giving off dandelion seeds, I'm gonna start sneezing again. As the dandelion chief, I propose a treaty where from now on, we will only release our seeds at night when they won't bother your sunshiny nose. As long as you stop making the dusty dust devils. It's a treaty. Blade, you may be a tiny dandelion, but as a chief, your leadership is huge. Speaking of chiefs, we need to get back to Hoos Park to meet the Choctaw Chief. Hmm. According to my high-tech instrumentation, the wind really calmed down. Ah, <sighs> it's a perfect night to have dinner with the chief. When do we get to meet him? You already did. You're the chief? <laughs> yup. Did you think I'd be super tall and full of muscles? Like a super chief? Well, maybe a little bit. You don't have laser eyes, do you? Does this count? Pew, pew! <laughs> no, that doesn't count. But that's okay. A chief can come in any shape or size as long as they're a good leader. <laughs> I try to be a good leader, but right now, I'd rather follow you. Follow us? To the dinner table! <laughs> <laughs> right this way, chief. <laughs> <laughs>